Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation Thunderball, turn 11.8, KMT. It is July 1941. I first just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and kind of let you know that for Operation Thunderball, we're going to be trying to put out about a turn per day over the holiday weekend. It might end up faster than that, we'll see, but just don't want expectations to be too high because Family is an important priority, and I hope you're getting to spend some time with yours. Um, so, purchases. KMT only has two IPP to spend. I'm going to purchase nothing. Combat movement. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to attack... Um, oh, God damn, I'm going to... Z Kang. I'm going to attack Z Kang uh, with... Everything from Yunnan except my 10 militia and 3 anti-aircraft guns. So going in is 20 infantry, 2 cavalry, 4 artillery, and 2 mountain. I'm attacking into mountainous terrain. Let's, I've got myself set up here with the battle board. Uh, let's get this a little bit straightened out. So I've got it set up with the battle board, and what I'm going to do is any units with attack weakness are going to be put in that blue box. I have to get a little infantry. Uh, okay, yeah, good. Uh, any infantry that any the infantry or cavalry of the KMT that roll uh, 10, 11, or 12 will retreat. So I'm going to go one round, see how bad Silk hurts me, and reassess how we're doing. So I've got 20 unboosted infantry. I've got 22 infantry total, but 20 unboosted. I need ones to hit, and I don't want 10, 11, or 12. Okay, well this is, this is good. I got two hits, but it's bad that I got i got one, two, three retreats, and two hits. Okay, three retreats. Three retreats, and two hits. You know what? I messed up. I'm still going to count that, but first we should do our first strike. So I've done ten of my first uh, attacks with the infantry. Ten of my... Ten, ten of the twenty. But we should do the four artillery at two for the KMT attacking the Japanese. These are four artillery. They don't retreat. One hit. Um, so I'm going to put one hit um, over here. And hopefully I remember that that was the first strike. Oh, I know. I'm going to keep track of my first strike hits. Here we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and then I should do the retaliatory first strikes from the Japanese, but those are at three. No hits. Okay, that's a good start. So I've got the other ten. I was worried that somehow that would mess it up, but even if he had hit, it wouldn't have affected me. So I've got the second group of ten. These guys retreat. Attack weakness. I'm going to re-roll this guy, of course. Oh boy, this was really bad. One, two, three, four retreats and one hit. Okay. Four retreats. Well, that's why I'm just doing, the, you know, making the attack. Two, four. So, so far, seven. Seven out of 20, about a third of my guys retreated. But I did get a higher than average hits. I thought I'd get two hits and I got three hits, so. But I'll probably have to retreat after this round. Okay. Um, then I've got, I've got to roll these separately. I've got to roll my cavalry separately than my boosted or infantry. So this is the two cavalry. The reason why is because if they retreat, I need to know whether it was cavalry or infantry that retreated. Um, they, the cavalry missed and they didn't uh, they don't retreat. Now the, the boosted infantry 
Again, same thing. It's a nine. They, they missed and they didn't retreat. I already did my artillery. And then finally, I've got two mountain at three. Miss. Okay, so I did four hits to him. Now, he gets four cavalry in return, because one of mine was a first strike hit. So he's got four at two, which is cavalry. One hit. This is a dead guy. All right, and then he's got... We already did the artillery, so he's got seven at four. Six, seven. And he got three hits. So I killed four of him, he killed four of me. Well, he's still got the mountain to fire back, so he got three, one, two, three hits. Um, I think this is cocked, and I'm going to roll that for... Silk again. I've, I need to take three. Hold on just a second. I need to check this out. Okay, so he killed three more. So I've had a total four dead. I still have these guys. And he's. I'm re-rolling this cocked die. Miss. And then he's got a five. Uh, one shot with the mountain. To hit. Okay, so I, I came away worse for that. Um, okay. So, he lost four cavalry. I lost just a ton of stuff. I thought I might go another round, but I mean, this is horrific. Because I've got seven, eight at one. Um, two, four, five died. Let's see, that's seven pips plus 16 pips. 23 plus six is 29. He's got just 28 with just that. Mm, yeah. It's tough because I, even though I'm gonna hit, get two, he might get three. I, I think I'm gonna go one more round. get to the, the meaty stuff. Two, four, six, seven. Seven at one. No. Eight at one. One hit and one retreat. So one more guy retreats. Let's check this out. Five. Then we'll get rid of this red one. And then we've got two cavalry at two. They do have the effect of this. Two hits, jeez. And I got one hit on him, so one and two more. Okay, no retreats there. And then a two boosted infantry at two. Miss, that guy retreats. It's so annoying. And then four at two. Two more. Jeez, two more hits. Okay, I'm glad I stuck around. And so tell me if you didn't want to take the artillery. You might have chosen infantry, especially on this last round. Um, and no, no, those are artillery, so they don't, they don't retreat. Okay, and then I had two boosted cap, uh, mountain infantry. Three. Yes. Okay, now the retaliate, re retaliation. So he's got one at two with his cavalry. Miss, barely. Three at three with his artillery. One hit. And then he's got the seven uh, at four. Two, four, six, seven. With his uh, six infantry and one motorized infantry. Three hits. So I've lost four guys. And then he's got the mountain infantry at five. I'm glad I went the other round. Okay. Um, those guys are dead. 
these guys are all dead. Let's reassess here. Do to him, and he's got five, I think, too. Yeah, so he's got six, 24 plus, he's got 29. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go again. Okay, all right, I have three at one. <laughs> well, retreat, okay, yeah. And then, no hits. Then I've got two at two with the cavalry. Miss. Well, this is going to turn out to be a, a, a mis big mistake. Oh. I shouldn't have. I should have had one of those guys boosted. I don't know if I got a two. I might have to PBE. Uh, but one of these infantry is at two. Miss. And then... I've got the four artillery, <laughs> worthless, and then I've got the two mountain. Oh, this is a this is a big mistake. To, you know, hindsight. Oh, two hits. Okay, well that's what I was supposed to do. And there's even a chance I think of a PBE. I don't know if there. I'll have to look at what was rolled. If there was a two rolled, then there's a then there's a one third chance that one of those infantry was boosted. Okay, um, now he gets two, four, five, six, six at four. And then one at five, six at four. Ay, ay, ay. Oh boy, well, that's what I get for sticking around. Okay, time to lose a cavalry. And then he's got that mountain, which I think he hasn't hit with yet, so I could be. Kind of do to lose my cavalry. Well, that mountain did not carry through. Okay, so I, I just have to retreat. I got nothing left. Um, it was, I think, I'll have to look at how many was lost on each side. Um, I think Japan's probably pretty happy with that. I might, maybe I should have retreated after that first round because I was doing pretty well. All, the, all these guys retreat. Which is, instead of 22 infantry, oof, now I only have 2, 4, 5, I have 11 infantry in uh, Yunnan. So I lost 11 infantry and 1 cavalry, so I lost 12 units. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think I did as well. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have retreated. Got 11. Anyway, maybe I'll fuss with this later. The Yunnan goes down to 11. That would have been the easier way to do it. Stick it off here. And one cavalry is dead. And then what happened to him? He ended up with three infantry. So I killed three of his infantry and three artillery and five oh I, I i did better i okay i did that was i think i did okay uh i killed three of his infantry five cavalry and three uh artillery well no i guess he i lost 12 units he lost 11 units and he can afford units it means nothing to him so i guess that was a mistake um, man, yeah, I think I was doing better after that first round, and I probably should have just done one and then backed up at that point in hindsight. Can you guys see any of this, or am I, you know, I'm not even, I'm not showing you Yunnan. Sorry about that. So he should have, in Yunnan, he should have three infantry, one mountain, and one motorized. And I have... 
10 militia, 11 infantry, 4 artillery, 2 mountain, 1 cavalry, 3 anti-aircraft. So, Yunnan, or not Yunnan, KMT, start of the turn of 2, they collect 1. That is the end of the turn. Ugh. Regrets. I don't know. It's so funny because I, I was like, God, I just need to... I need to start putting some pressure. But maybe that's the end of the KMT. We'll see what happens. Okie dokie. USA's turn. Um, so, I have 73 IPP to spend with the US... Oh, before we do that, tech rolls. Seven tech rolls. First, I tried for advanced artillery at seven or higher. PBE generated a nine. So, I succeeded and I do complete advanced artillery. Second, I tried for radar at 7 or higher. PPE generated a 4, so I failed. Third, I tried for improved factories at a 7 or higher. PPE generated an 11, so I succeeded, and I advanced to, uh, to stage 1. Uh, fourth, I tried for improved construction at a 7 or higher. PPE generated a 3, so I failed. Fifth, I tried for jet fighters at an 8 or higher. PPE uh, succeeded. So I advanced to stage three. Sixth, I tried for long range aircraft at an eight or higher. PBE generated a three, so I failed. Seventh, I tried for large ship construction, the tech I most want, and PBE generated a five, so I'm still stuck at stage three. Purchases, I have 73 IPP to spend. I will get two Marines for eight, three advanced artillery for 12, that's 20. Two light cruisers for 18, that's 38. One destroyer for 7, that's 45. Two naval transports for 14, that's 59. One air transport for 8, that's 67. One, that, that's an air transport to lend lease to Britain. And one tank destroyer lend leased to Russia for 5, that's 72. So I have one saved uh, for USA. All right. Um, okay. Combat movement, I don't have any. Non-combat movement. Let's look at, I guess down here, might as well do what's on the camera. Uh, these two coastal subs are going to move from A45 to A43. Also from A45, one transport carrying a infantry and a um, light tank, light armor are going to go into Gibraltar, so they're going to drop them off in Gibraltar in port. Be a little import marker there. Okay. Um, one destroyer here is going to go over to cross the Panama Canal. One, two, three. So I started off in season A45. I end up uh, in, what, what, what the heck is that one? Hold on just a second. P76. I, I end up in P76. Let's go up a little bit higher. I'm going to take this guy off convoy escort duty and have him move one, two, three, from A27 to A30. Um, I'm going to take this Naval transport in New York out of port, picking up two infantry, and then strategic naval moving over to southern England. Is this on camera, southern England? Yeah. It's going to go over to southern England and go into port in southern England, so that two infantry. There's now three infantry and an American artillery in southern England. And the naval transport that is already in port is going to go back three steps. Uh, so it's here, one, two, three, and go in port in Nova Scotia. Let's see if Nova Scotia's on camera. Oh yeah, okay. And then I'm going to do some strategic rail moves. I'm going to have uh, two 
infantry and two mountain infantry rail up to Nova Scotia. Oops, I want to do it this way because I'm obsessive compulsive. Wait, do I want to do that? <laughs> I think not. I think I'm going to have these two infantry stay back in New York. I'll have just those two mountain infantry go up there. I'll have this infantry rail to New York. So I've got two mountain in Nova Scotia, four infantry in New York and four militia, two airborne in Washington, D.C. So I've so the things I've railed are two mountains and one, one infantry. Uh, that's, that's all my rail. Then I'm going to take the seaplane from the Carolinas and fly it over to San Francisco. So we should, we should go over to this side of the map. Okay, so yeah, everything's in place here. I will have my tactical bombers from these carriers, from this carrier that's in Baja. This fleet here that I'm mussing with is off the coast of Baja Peninsula. So one, two, three, land in Midway. And this fighter that's in San Francisco. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got an airbase. Land in Midway. Okay. This transport that's in port is going to pick up two infantry, carry it over to Midway, go into port. Um, these guys are all going to go into port. That's what I need to get an in port. Sorry for this delay. Okay. So, this fleet is all in port. And so is this fleet. This fleet has two slow movers. These two battleships are going to go to the Hawaiian Islands and go in port. This fleet is going to go one, two, three here and go in port. Two in port markers. And then the naval transport that started here is going to go back to San Francisco and go in port. So the effect is uh, there's a naval transport that started here and a naval transport that started here. They just swap places. And then this uh, carrier is going to go one, two, wait, it comes out for free and one, two, three into port. So it will join up here with these other naval units. So just to go over what I have in um, Midway, in port in Midway, is two fleet carriers, two battleships, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, six destroyers, and a naval transport. Then in Hawaii there's the two battleships. And then in Midway itself, I have one militia, four infantry, two marines, two air transport. Also in Midway, not in port, uh, but also in Midway, just sitting in the sea, I have two coastal subs. Alrighty, let's see, placement of units. I'm going to keep it there while we place uh, some naval units. So... Um, and, and these two Marines. I'm going to place two more Marines in San Francisco. So now I have four Marines in San Francisco. And then these naval units I'm going to place are two light cruisers and a destroyer. And what the heck, we'll just leave them in port too. I don't really have anything to worry about, but 
probably better to develop that habit. I'm starting to learn, Silk, so you're, you're teaching me. Also in San Francisco, there's this seaplane. Okay, hopefully we got that. Oh, what the heck, let's move these four infantry from southwest. I know I should have done that in the non-combat, but hopefully that's forgivable. So four infantry, four marines, seaplane. And then the two light cruisers and a destroyer and a naval transport. Then we're gonna come over to the east coast. Oh, sorry for kicking that. That's, that's not good. And we'll put three, uh, three, whatchamacallums, three advanced artillery in New York, along with two naval transports. We'll have those be in port. And now we've got some Lend-Lease. This uh, air transport that's going to Britain is going to leave New York and travel here to London and debark there. Then the tank destroyer that's going to Russia is going to leave New York and, well, should it leave New York? Let me think here. Yeah, I, I think New York's the best way to go. Leave New York and travel down uh, past these Italian submarines. So if you want to declare war, uh, Panzer J, just let me know. Um, and then it's going to come around uh, through the Gulf of Aden into southern Iran. It's interesting that in uh, version 4, Minor ports can, can have something that costs up to 5 IPP pass through it. Um, and then rail up to Transcaucasia. I am at 61 IPP plus 12 for my wartime bonus. Gets me up to 73 and I saved one, giving me 74 for next turn. I don't think that's... All I can think of for my turn. Um, I hope everyone has a happy holiday and uh, catch you in turn 12 because the next person up is Panzer J with 12.1.